you. Yeah, you're welcome. Be quiet. Okay, we started recording these again because we had some people that said, oh, I miss these being online, so I get nervous when I know I'm being recorded, but I'll just try my best, I guess. Um, so we're going to open with a word like we usually do, then we'll go into our movement, and uh, this is the most important, important part of the class is what God has to say to us today and how that relates to our movement. Um, I believe that's what sets this class apart. What makes it so special is because this is a sanctified space. That's all I come for. <laughs> right, Amber just comes for the word. <laughs> uh, so I have talked about this so many times that I've never broken it down before. And there's so much life in this. It is Psalm 139.14, which reads, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. That is one of the most popular verses in the Bible, but it has so much life and so much mystery and so much, in, so much depth to it. So I want to start breaking that down and teach you guys how it relates to us and nutrition and wellness. Uh, so when it says, I praise you, so if <laughs> this is really cool. So the Bible has, you know, Aramaic, Greek, Hebrew, English, and then it continues being translated, but it was originally mostly in Aramaic, Greek, and Hebrew. So there's actually seven different definitions for praise. And there's four for love, right? We've heard about that before, like eros, agape, et cetera, et cetera. There is seven, there's seven different meanings for the word praise, which I'm actually going to get into next week because I don't have time. So that's just a whole nother thing I'm going <laughs> to unload. There's seven, seven. And this one actually is about shouting. Like the, this is what that means. is like, I shout this. Like I proclaim this. I'm joyful about this. I'm overwhelmed by this. I'm overwhelmed because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And fearful isn't, doesn't mean like, oh, I'm frightened. It actually means it's the same fear of the Lord. It's that reverent fear. So what that is saying is God created us with respect. Like when he formed us in our room, he created us with respect. And actually the Hebrew word is nepleti, which means fearfully set apart. He called each and every one of us to be set apart from the world, to be better, to be stronger, to love, to be courageous, to forgive, to challenge people, to lift people up. He set us apart in the womb. So he made us with awe, he made us with wisdom, he made us with knowledge, he made us with discernment, and he made us with the potential to succeed if we step into his will. Wonderfully, this means that we are distinct and unique. We are made with inspiring delight, pleasure, admiration, goodness, and marvelousness. So I praise you, I shout, I am overwhelmed, because I am so fearfully and wonderfully made. You are so wonderful, God. I know this full well. And I started knowing this full well when I was 22 and I decided to become a personal trainer because I was just in shock by how mysterious and wonderful the body was. And I couldn't wait to start teaching people about it. And most importantly, how a relationship with your maker, number one, soul first, that's where true wellness and true change has to start. Now we're gonna do something a little bit different today. We've never done this before, but I'm gonna do an experiment with you guys to prove to you how fearfully and wonderfully made you are. I am going to teach you something that's gonna be a breakthrough for some of you.